Well, uh, hey, <laughs> I did not expect to be making another video so soon, but some crazy things have just happened. YouTube has updated their policy on harassment. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I woke up today and uh, checked my YouTube dashboard and noticed there was a little notice on uh, on the top of the screen, and there was also a little one of those little squares that they shove in there to, to push their whatever they need to say to the creators talking about uh, and new updated terms of service in regards to uh, their new harassment policy. First, I want to tell you what else has, has happened because of this new change. Um, it's been put out on, on Twitter. iDubs. They, they hit iDubs. He had the... Get ready for this. The classic video, the content cop on Leafy is here, has been removed. If that doesn't show you what time it is, holy shit, man, it's only a matter of time before they get to me. Uh, please go check out my BitChute account, subscribe over there, because, man, the purge has started, and they started with a big one, and that's, that's a message to everyone out here on YouTube, uh, that they're coming for us. They don't even care. There's no reverence. There's no respect for what's happened on this platform. That that Leafy is here video made by iDubs. That content cop, man, that is that is a historic YouTube video. It I'm dumbfounded that that's gone now. But hey, you know, that's that's the future of YouTube. Official blog, an update to our harassment policy. Over the last several years, we have worked to improve the way we manage content on YouTube by quickly removing it when it violates our community guidelines, reducing the spread of borderline content, raising up authoritative voices when people are looking for breaking news and information, and rewarding trusted creators and artists that make YouTube a special place. Today, we are announcing a series of policy and product changes that update how we tackle harassment on YouTube. We systematically review all our policies to make sure the line between what we remove and what we allow is drawn in the right place. And, and recognize earlier this year that for harassment, there is more we can do to protect our creators and community. This is... Oh my god, this is, I'm getting, my pulse is going up as I read this. These assholes, these, I mean, what, you want to talk about fascism? This is fascism. They are coming down and stomping us with a boot right now for having strong opinions on people. Anyway, their, their little article continues. Harassment hurts our community by making people less inclined to share their opinions and engage with, the, with each other. We heard this time... And again from creators, including those who met us during the development of this policy update. We also met with a number of experts who shared their perspective. First of all, hang on. We heard this time and time again from creators, including those who met with us during the development of this policy update. I would love to figure out who these creators are who met with them while they developed this policy update. And, and man, you, you evil pricks, whoever these creators are. You, oh my god, to work with the enemy like that. YouTube is the enemy. They've made themselves the enemy of free speech. They've made themselves the enemy of actual independent creators on the internet. Uh, and they're coming for all of us. And you, the creators, you sons of bitches that worked with YouTube to create this, God help you if it gets out who you are. You bet, you better keep your head down low. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh my god. Destroying careers destroying people's futures because of feelings. Someone didn't like that they said something criticizing them, so we're going to call it harassment. This is horseshit. I am so angry. I and, and this is the thing. I knew this was coming. We all knew this was coming. But to see it implement, I mean, the, and the reality slap you in the face, our worst nightmares realized. Here it is, man. This is the beginning of... The mass exodus, I'm telling you, man. I, I because how can you how can you invest in a platform that the rules they're so loosely explained, nobody knows what we can do, what we can't do. It's this gray area. How has anyone how can anyone invest in the in, in, in YouTube? How can anyone invest time in this platform anymore? Not not knowing how long you're gonna be here before they just 
you know, at the, oh, whatever you said's too spicy, sorry, you're, you're deleted now, we're gonna strike you until your channel's gone, anyway, I left off with, uh, talking about the, whoo, the YouTubers, uh, that, that worked with them, so let's, let's continue on from the, um, traitor, traitorous pieces of shit creators that, that helped in this policy update. And God, if I hope we find out who they are. We also met with a number of experts who shared their perspectives and informed our process from organizations that study online bullying or advocate on behalf of journalists, yay, journalists, to free speech proponents and policy organizations from all sides of the political spectrum. Bullshit. Uh, we remain committed to our openness as a platform and ensuring that spirited debate and a vigorous exchange of ideas continue to thrive here. No, you don't. No, you, it, what? A vigorous exchange of ideas and continue to thrive here? Who can, th who can thrive in an environment where we don't know what the rules are? You won't throw down clear lines for us. And you're, you, I mean, you're a reverence for the history of the site and what the community, the actual community holds as important. Uh, by deleting a content cop, man, oh, the Leafy is here, that is, I mean, that was a huge video, that was huge, what are you doing, alright, I'm getting distracted again, I'm sorry, there's so much garbage being spewed here, uh, however, we will not tolerate harassment, and we believe the steps outlined below will contribute to our mission by making YouTube a better place for anyone to share their story or opinion, Get out of here. Your, uh, <laughs> I share your story or your opinion. Oh, unless it's what? A little edgy? Unless it hurts somebody's feelings? Listen to that. Just stomp, the boot stomping on the neck of the creator. However, we will not tolerate harassment. And we believe the steps outlined below will contribute to our mission. It's just like, get out. I mean, who's goose stepping now, man? This is, I mean, this is... It's just frightening how just they don't even care. They're not even hiding it anymore. We're in control. This is what we're doing. Deal with it. Uh, so this next part is uh, titled, A Stronger Stance Against Threats and Personal Attacks. We've always removed videos that explicitly threaten someone, reveal confidential personal information, or encourage people to harass someone else. Moving forward, our policies will go a step further and not only prohibit explicit threats, but also veiled or implied threats. What? And who gets to decide what that means? Oh, God. This includes content simulating violence towards an individual or language suggesting physical violence may occur. No individual should be subject to harassment that suggests violence. <sighs> I, I gotta quit talking and just finish reading this. Beyond threatening someone, there's also demeaning language that goes too far. To establish a consistent criteria for what type of content is not allowed on YouTube, we're building upon the frame. We're building upon the framework we use for our hate speech policy. We will no longer allow content that maliciously insults someone based on protected attributes such as their race, gender, expression, or sexual or orientation. This applies to everyone, from private individuals to YouTube creators to public officials. This is, <laughs> oh god, oh my god, welcome to YouTube preschool. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Consequences for a pattern of harassing behavior. Something we heard from our creators is that harassment sometimes takes place in the shape of a pattern of repeated behavior across multiple videos or comments, even if any individual video doesn't cross our policy line. I don't, let's, um, so if the video doesn't cross their policy line because they've made multiple videos that don't cross the policy line, that's crossing the policy line? That doesn't even make any sense. There's insane people running this site. To address this, we're tightening our policies for the YouTube Partner Program. Here we go. This is no, okay. Kicking out. Oh, man. Commentary community is fucked. They're going to be kicking people out of the YouTube Partner Program. So no more paychecks. Ooh. Ooh. 
To address this, we're tightening our policies for the YouTube Partner Program to get even tougher on those who engage in harassing behavior and to ensure we reward only trusted creators. That's right, be a good boy for the, for the fucking... Whew, for your corporate overlords. Channels that repeatedly brush up against our harassment policy will be suspended from YPP, eliminating their ability to make money from YouTube. So you don't even have to break the policies. They just... What is brush up against? Channels that repeatedly brush up against our harassment policy will be suspended from YouTube Partner Program, eliminating their ability to make money on YouTube. What the fuck is this? We may also remove content from channels if they repeatedly harass someone. If this behavior continues, we'll take more severe action, <laughs> severe action including issuing strikes or terminating a channel altogether. Addressing toxic comments. We know that the comment section is an important place for fans to engage with creators and each other. At the same time, we heard feedback that comments are often where creators and viewers encounter harassment. This behavior not only impacts the person targeted by the harassment, but can also have a chilling effect on the entire conversation. So now it's not even people that make videos, it's people in the comment section? Or is it the people that make the videos responsible for the comment section? Uh, to combat this, we remove comments that clearly violate our policies. Over 16 million in the third quarter of this year. Awesome, dude. You're keeping score. Specifically due to harassment. <sighs> they're just putting notches on the wall, man. They're they're having fun with this. Right, let's destroy people's, uh, you know, whole careers or, you know, whatever they've built over the past few years up to a decade or more. And, uh, yeah, this is awesome. Isn't it great? Uh, anyway, back to this. The policy updates we've outlined above will also apply to comments, so we expect this number to increase in future quarters. Yeah, because 16 million wasn't enough. Oh, man. Uh, this is crazy. Uh, beyond comments that we remove, we also empower creators to further shape the conversation on their channels and have a variety of tools that help. When we're not... <laughs> when we're not sure a comment violates our policies, but it seems potentially inappropriate, we give creators the option to review it before it's posted on their channel. Results among early adopting uh, early adopters were promising. Channels that enabled this feature saw a 75% reduction in user flags on comments. Earlier this year, we began to turn this setting on by default for most creators. Yeah, you did it for me, and I turned it back off. We've continued to fine-tune our system to make sure we catch truly toxic comments. Not just anything that's negative or critical. Yeah, really, I, I doubt that. And feedback from creators has been positive. I doubt it. I doubt it. I want to find out who these creators are. I don't want their... I, well, I can't say what I want because then I'd get flagged and removed from YouTube for being awful. Last, last week, we began turning this feature on by default for YouTube's largest channels with the site's most active comment sections and will roll out to most channels by the end of the year. To be clear, creators can opt out if they choose to leave the feature enabled. They still have ultimate control, no they don't, over which held comments can appear in their videos. Alternatively, creators can also ignore held comments altogether if they prefer. All these updates represent another step towards making sure we protect the YouTube community. We expect there will continue to be healthy debates over some of the decisions and we have an and we have an appeals process in place if creators believe we've made the wrong call on a video. As we make these changes, it's vitally important that YouTube remain a place where people can express a broad range of ideas. What is this double thing? You just said all of this garbage that I just read, and then you say it's important that YouTube remains a place where people can express a broad range of ideas? No, 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 no. You don't want a broad range of ideas. You want a very, very narrow range of ideas. And that's what this is all about. Anyway, back to it. We'll continue to protect discussion on matters of public interest and artistic expression. What about criticism? What about criticizing assholes? Like, like YouTube. <laughs> We also believe these discussions can be had in ways that invite participation and never make someone f fear for their safety. Oh my god. We're c this is childish. We're committed to continue revisiting our policies regularly to ensure that they are preserving the magic of YouTube while also living up to the expectations of our community. 
Signed, Matt Halperin, Vice President, Global Head of Trust and Safety. Get fucked. Well, that's it. That's, uh, man, we are, we're in big trouble. <laughs> oh, man. So, before I leave you in disbelief at the end of this video, I would like to plug my BitChute account. Uh, because I guarantee you, man, they're, they're, they're going to kill this channel. And when they do, you can still find me over on BitChute. Where all your favorite creators that get booted from YouTube are going to end up. Congratulations, YouTube. You, you policied your way into becoming the next MySpace. Trash. You're garbage. You make me sick. Susan. Oh, Susan. Oh, Susan. Oh, my God. Anyway, leave a thumbs up on the video, hit subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think.